My name is Wang Yiwei. I am a PhD student at the National University of Singapore. The paper I will be presenting today is titled Mix Up for Node and Graph Classification. Graph neural networks have achieved state of the art performance on graph learning tasks, including node classification and graph classification. Graph neural networks are capable of making predictions based on complex graph structures, thanks to their advanced representational power. However, the increased representational capacity comes with higher model complexity, which can induce overfitting and weaken the generalization ability of graph neural networks. In this case, a trained graph neural network may capture random error or noise instead of the underlying data distribution which is not what we expect. expect. To combat the overfitting of neural networks, data augmentation has been demonstrated to be effective. Mixup is a recently proposed data augmentation method for image classification. Through linearly interpolating pixels of random uh, image pairs and uh, their training targets, Mixup generates synthetic images for training. On the left hand side of this figure, we see for image classification, the existing mixup generates synthetic images for by interpolating both image pixels and labels. In middle, we see for node classification, to mix a pair of nodes A in red and B in blue, we need to mix their receptive field subgraphs. On the right hand side, we see for graph classification, we need to mix the nodes and graph topology of a pair of graphs. Although mixup is effective in augmenting the image data, designing mixup methods for graph learning is challenging. The challenges are rooted in the irregularity and connectivity of graph data. Graph neural networks learn nodes representations via the message passing mechanism, which aggregates the representations between each node and the its neighbors at each layer. As a result, the representation of a node relies on the nodes and the edges inside its receptive field, all of which act as its features. Thus, to mix a pair of nodes, we need to mix their receptive field subgraphs, which consist of nodes and topology. However, unlike image pixels, nodes are not placed on a regular grid, but are instead unordered, which makes it difficult to pair the nodes in different subgraphs for mix up. Besides, the interpolation is not well defined for graph topology which is necessary for mix-up. Furthermore, due to the connectivity between nodes, the use of mix-up on different node pairs can infer, in, uh, interfere with one another, which can cause conflict, conflicts and uh, perturb the mixed features. We interpolate a pair of nodes or graphs, as well as their ground truth labels, to produce a novel and a synthetic image uh, sample, uh, not image, sample, synthetic sample for training. To mix the graph topology, which is highly irregular, we propose the two branch mix up graph convolution. In principle, a graph neural network layer updates node IOS representations by aggregating the representations of itself and its neighbors. By stacking L layers, graph neural networks make the final layer prediction of node I based on its l hope neighborhood, which is known as node I's receptive field. In other words, to interpolate the paired nodes I and J, we need to mix their receptive field subgraphs. To achieve this, we propose the two-branch mix-up graph convolution as shown in this figure. Here, we mix the node attributes of nodes I and J before the input layer, 
Next, we conduct the graph convolutions based on node I and J's uh, topologies separately at each layer. After that, we mix the aggregated features from the two topologies together before the next layer. With our two branch mix up convolutions, how to compute the node I's Nickbert's representation is an issue. If we follow the same implementation as the classical mix up, that is to say, we randomly pair the nodes in the mini batch to conduct mix up and then conduct the feed forward for all the nodes synchronously, the conflicts happen. An example is shown in this figure. On the left hand side, we see a graph neural network model predicts the class of label uh, node A in red by aggregating the nodes in orange inside node A's receptive field. To mix node A in red and node B in blue, we short mix the features inside A and B's receptive fields. However, if we conduct mix up for node C in orange and node D in gray at the same time, the mixed input features from nodes A and B are perturbed by interference from node D through node C, which should be blocked. For node classification, graph neural networks learn the high-level semantic representations by stacking, by stacking L layers and minimizing the classification loss. For example, cross entropy over the final layer predictions as presented in this figure. To resolve the conflicts between the mix-up on different node pairs, we propose the two-stage mix-up framework as shown in this figure. In the first stage, we conduct the feed-forward to graph neural networks for the mini-batch graph to obtain the node's hidden representations without mix-up. Next, in the second stage, we randomly pair the nodes in a mini-batch to conduct the mix-up of node attributes. Then, we conduct our two-branch mix-up graph convolutions for the paired nodes. Note that at each layer in the second stage, we use the Nickbert's representations without mix-up, which are obtained from the first stage to conduct the graph convolutions. In this way, each node's representations after mix-up do not interfere with the message passing for other nodes. With our two-stage framework, we effectively prevent the import features from being perturbed by the nodes outside the receptive fields. We mix the graph level representations for the mix up on graph classification, which includes both nodes attributes and graph topology. Graph neural networks utilize a readout function to summarize the node level embeddings into a good graph embedding. Graph neural networks embed the complex and irregular graph structures into the embedding vectors of fixed dimension. We conduct mix-up for graph classification in the embedding space, as shown in this figure. Finally, the interpolated graph level embedding will be passed to a multi-layer perception, followed by a soft max layer to produce the predicted distribution for the target classes. In the experiments, we present the performance of various graph neural network models trained with our mix-up method. For node classification, we report the experimental results under both the transductive and the inductive settings. For graph classification, we report the test accuracy on both chemical and social graphs. After that, we adjust the volume of labeled data to evaluate the generalization of graph neural networks with and without our mix-up. In addition, we visualize the learned representations of graph neural networks trained with the mix-up 
compared with the graph neural networks without mix-up. Last but not least, we conduct ablation studies to show the sensitivity of graph neural networks performance with respect to the hyperparameters of our mix-up method. For node classification, we use the standard benchmark datasets Cora, Citizen, Pubd, Flickr, Yelp, and Amazon for evaluation. The first three are citation networks, where each node is a document and each edge is a citation link. In Flickr, each node represents one image, and an edge is built between two images if they share some common properties, properties for example, same geographic location or the same gallery, etc. Each of them contains an unweighted uh, adjacency matrix. The statistics of these datasets are summarized in this table. We use the standard benchmark datasets for the evaluation of graph classification. The first three are chemical datasets, where the nodes have input, uh, input features of categories. The last three are social networks. The statistics of these datasets are summarized in, table uh, in this table. We conduct the experiment, uh, experiments under both transductive and uh, inductive settings for a comprehensive evaluation. In the transductive setting, we have access to the attributes of all nodes but are only the labels of nodes in the training set for training. In the inductive setting, both the attributes and the labels of the nodes in the validation or testing set are unavailable during training. In the transductive node classification, the results are reported in this table. We observe that our two-stage mix-up method enhances GCN and JKNet to outperform all the baseline methods. In the inductive settings, the similar phenomenon is observed. For graph classification, we follow existing work to use the cross-validation scheme for a fair comparison and evaluation. Overall, MixUp achieves substantial improvements for GCN and GIN on both the chemical and the social datasets. As a result, MixUp enhances GCN and GIN to outperform all the baseline methods. Taking a closer look, we observe that the graph kernel methods generally, uh, generally present worse performance than the graph neural network methods. This demonstrates that the stronger fitting capacity of the advanced neural network models. Mixup generally achieves higher improvements on GIN than that on GCN. The reason is that GIN is a more ad advanced graph neural network model proposed for graph classification than GCN. However, the increased learning power of GIN comes with higher risks of overfitting. Our mix-up method effectively regularizes them by interpolating the graph representations to expand the training set, which reduces their overfitting tendencies successfully. Please refer to our paper for more experimental results. Thank you for watching.